Rise and grind, push the line. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Jay from the K, back with another Triple M. Before we get into this video, man, I got to give a shout out to one of my OGs out there. Maybe I'm posting all my videos and sharing them, showing me much love, and I really do appreciate it. So big bones if you see that, man. Appreciate you, brother. All right, let's dig in. All right, push the line. So look, this week we're going to talk about uh, something that's a little odd. It may sound a little bizarre because it's not the kind of title that you would expect to hear, right? There's so many videos and so many lectures and talks about uh, the reasons why you are a winner, right? But I want to talk about why you're not a failure, okay? So let's dig in. So the number 10 reason why you're not a failure is because you know you deserve the success that you've been fighting for. Right. Some of us, we come from some crazy paths. We come through a lot of hell and high water. Right. And so we can look back over our shoulders and we can see what we came through. We can see the time that we put in, how we persevered, how we stayed up at night, how we toiled and we hurt. And we just went through a whole gambit of emotions and stresses and, and thought processes to get what we're trying to get to. Right. And so. You are successful because you deserve it because you put the time and you put the work in, you put the grind in, right? That makes you successful uh, in itself. So you're not a failure because you've been, you've been laying the groundwork, okay? And so we're not going to let anybody take that away from us. We're not failures when we deserve it. Uh, not because we are, we're just, so, we're just so great, you know? That's not the reason why you're, you're, you deserve it. You deserve it because you put the work in, okay? All right, so number nine. It's because you care and you have passion about your success. Like, you spend the time thinking about this. You strategize. You, you make choices in your life um, that will coincide with your desire to be successful. In, in whatever gambit that is. Like, it could be professional success. It could be uh, parental success. It could be relational success. It could be spiritual success. There's all kind of ways to be successful uh, but you have a passion for it. That means you think about it. You wake up in the morning and the first thing that, thinks, that, that crosses your mind is like, how am I going to get to that today? What's going to be a little bit different about it? How am I going to get closer to that dream today? Like, you spend your time thinking about this. Your heart pounds and beats for this thing, right? And so that's number nine. That's the reason why you're not a failure. Number eight, because you believe it's possible. That's... There are so many people out there that are naysayers, they're haters, they don't want to see you succeed. Because if you succeed and they don't succeed, then that means they're a failure, right? But the reality is, is that you're, you, you are not failing because you believe in yourself and you believe in your goal, right? And some of us realize that, man, some of, some of the things that we're fighting for, that we're, we're searching after, those are like almost divine things that we've been gifted. And so it's meant for us to have it, right? And so uh, we're going to obtain those things because it's part of our design. Number seven, because you've taken responsibility for the things that have happened in your life, right? And so some of us have made choices that are poor choices. And we've, we've lost some things. We've, we've had some setbacks. We've had some shortcomings. But what we didn't do is we didn't, we didn't point the finger and we didn't blame somebody else for the things that didn't work out in our lives. And so for that reason alone, you're not a failure. If that's you and you take, a, you take accountability for your actions and your choices, you're, you're, you're not a failure because you've managed to be able to do that, right? And people who can't do that, they're going to continue to fail because they don't realize that the key to their own success is them and not somebody else. Number six, because you've eliminated distractions. In, in a prior video, we talked about the keys to success. And that's one of the keys to success is eliminating distractions. Sometimes our enemies, they can't destroy us, so they'll distract us. So whether that is a person, place, or a thing, it will distract us if it can't destroy us. And we have to realize that we live in a fast-paced society. Our world is full of 
uh, things fighting for our attention and our attention spans are shorter than they used to be. And so we have to be smart and prudent about what we allow to get in our inner circle, uh, what we allow to consume our time and to mesmerize us and grab our attention because those things could very well be your enemy. They could be placed there to distract you. And so we need to be able to identify what those distractions are. And if you have done that, then you are on the path to success. Number five, because you have taken advice and tutelage. So in one of my prior videos, we talked about how for men, we don't like to take advice because it makes us feel vulnerable. And that's true for women as well. There's so many people out there that are very strong-willed people who don't like to take advice because it makes them feel like if I take advice from a person and I take tutelage and mentorship from a person, that they know better about me than I know about myself. And they know what's best for me better than I know what's best for me. And so there's a little bit of ego in there. Uh, we're actually a whole lot of ego in there. Uh, but for a person who is able to take constructive criticism and take it, utilize it, and grow from it, that person is not a failure because they're actually, they're actually using their, their, their community to help grow themselves, okay? So number four is because you've built a community and you have meaningful, strong relationships, those relationships are, are, you are allowing to pour into you and create bonds and, and, and friendships that will support you and carry you through and encourage you um, those are the kind of people that you want to have in your life and some of us are willing to allow people in uh, we talked about in, in, in the prior video one of the prior videos is that our resource is directly related to our our relationships and our network and so for the person who realizes that that I need to have meaningful positive relationships around me to help me grow that person is not a failure they're on the road to success all right, and number three, it's because you're humble. Because a person who can realize those things is a humble person. They know that I don't have all the answers, okay? And so to realize that means that you're going to go further because you're going to be able to tap into people who are a little bit smarter. They have more experience than you do, right? And so you'll be a fool to think that um, you, can, you can achieve certain things in life, certain, certain successes in life, without experience it's like starting a job a new job you can't walk in there on day one and just kill the job <laughs> because you don't have the experience you don't have the know-how so in real life you can't you can't be the best version of yourself if you don't tap into somebody else who's already been around longer than you who has witnessed some things who has experienced some things a little bit more seasoned than you are you, you can't do it it's just not possible so if you're humble enough to say, you know what, I can submit to somebody else's experience and learn from that and glean from that. You're a wise person and you're on the road to success and you're not a failure. You might not have obtained a success yet, but you're on the right road. All right. And number two is because you're persistent. You don't give up. You haven't given up. You haven't given up. You've been through a lot. You've seen a lot. You've had some, some, some setbacks, some shortcomings, some downfalls, but you don't, you don't give up. And that right there in itself is a key ingredient to a successful person and a winner's mentality is that I don't give up, right? A lot of the, the most successful people that we see in the world today have failed. Michael Jordan, if you go Google him and, and, and you look at him on YouTube, he has a video where he talks about how, how many shots he lost. How many, how many shots he missed, right? Uh, but we always highlight the, the winning shots. You know what I mean? The three-point the three point buzzer shot. We talk about those things. We highlight those in our society. We don't talk about the failures. But the thing is, successful people learn from their failures, and they don't give up. They take that, and they say, you know what? I just learned a bunch of different ways that this doesn't work. And they go about it a different way. They're persistent, right? Um, in my own personal life, I learned this when I was a teenager. I was trying to get a job, and I, and I applied for this place. It was a clothing store, a retail place. And I kept bugging the woman who was the manager. 
um, I would call her once a week. Uh, at first, I would think I was calling her every other day. And then she told me, like, that's not cool. So I, I dialed it back a little bit, and I called once a week. But I wanted this job. And so eventually, she quit taking my calls because I was bugging her. <laughs> so I went to the place, you know what I mean? Uh, and I went to talk to her. And she was busy and everything, but she told me, she's like, you know what? I'm going to give you the job because you've been persistent. And I was excited. I was happy. I got the job. I walked out of there. But the thing that was really resting on my shoulders the most was this word persistent. I didn't know exactly what persistent meant at the time. I heard it before, but I didn't know what persistence meant. And so the context of what she told me helped me to understand. But I went back and looked it up. And I wanted to find out I'm persistent. What does persistent mean, right? And it was just the fact that I didn't give up. You know what I mean? She encouraged me. You know, <laughs> she didn't tell me yes. You know what I mean? She avoided my cause. She did everything in her power to not give me what I wanted. But I chased it. And I hounded her. And I wore it down. And I got that job. <laughs> and so persistence is a key ingredient to us being successful and not being failures. A failure will give up. A failure will not commit because they're not really, really a winner, right? That's what a failure would do. You're not a failure if you're persistent. And the number one reason, above all, is because you exist. You're alive. So you're a winner. You're a champion. And what I mean by this is, like, if we think about it from a natural standpoint, if we take it all the way back to the, the embryonic stage, you know, to be a little bit, not rated R, but not PG-13. Uh, we all started out as sperm, right? And so we were the ones who made it. We made it to the egg. We germanized. We're here. Some of us didn't make it. You think about the millions and millions and millions of sperm that there are that's fighting for life. And we made it. So what I'm telling you is that there, there are no failures who are born. Only winners were born, right? So you're that one person. And if you're a twin or a quadruple or whatever, you're just one of a group of people who are successful. You know what I mean? But there are no failures that are born. Some people may go through life and feel like a failure and give up. But they weren't failures. They weren't born failures. And nobody's born a failure. You are not born a failure. So just think about that this week. Remind yourself that I'm here. And I'm persistent, I'm hungry, I'm talented, I have a certain amount of skills, and I just got a passion and a love and a desire to be successful. And I'm going to be the best version of myself I could be. And can't nobody stop that. Okay? Connect yourself with people who are like-minded, and they're going somewhere, and they have some tenacity, and be the best version of yourself. Okay? So that's the Triple M this week, and I hope that was good for you guys. I'm going to be back next week with another Triple M. Until then, you all be blessed.